men raging and throwing a tantrum because we don't want kids is so funny because they'll always say things like you're so selfish don't you want to continue on this generation if you don't have kids this generation is going to end and all of humanity is going to end when a woman says she doesn't want to have a child or she doesn't want kids these men are quick to ask some silly questions they are quick to take offense let me roll this clip for you all to watch at the end and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video men raging and throwing a tantrum because we don't want kids is so funny because they'll always say things like you're so selfish don't you want to continue on this generation if you don't have kids this generation is going to end and all of humanity is going to end and it's like okay and like if you want me to have kids so bad if i provide that much value to the entirety of humanity why don't i have the same rights that you have in fact why don't i have more rights than you have because if i control life then why do you get more rights than me? Shouldn't it be the other way around? And also, what makes you think that I would want to go through pregnancy, post-pregnancy, not being able to leave the house without the husband texting, when are you coming home every five minutes because the husband can't even take care of his own kids and leaving the entire mental load and emotional mental physical labor on the wife and having the wife pick up the majority of the invisible labor without ever acknowledging that she picks up the entirety of the invisible labor and with the economy nowadays the women have to work too so now she's not just working at work she has to come home and work too so our job is now 24 hours why would we want that i really think that guys should be like oh how can i be a better man so that the person i end up with would want to have kids with me rather than throwing a tantrum that women don't want to have kids and it's so selfish hey beautiful people how are you doing today it's your again again mara davis and i'm back again with another interesting video why should woman be willing to have a child for you when you take all your glory when you just do one little thing the woman has to walk has to do everything she doesn't have any time for herself she all she does is dedicate all her life all that time for the children and also for you when does she have time for herself so why should she say she wants to have a child for you if you're not supportive if you're not going to be supportive if you're going to leave her to be a single mother if you're just going not to do anything or if you even try a little you try to, you want to have you know you want people to clap for you even for the little things that you are doing why would she want to have a child for you let me go ahead and roll some clip for you all to watch the end and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video what is your take on this video let me know your thoughts in comment section respectfully men raging and throwing a tantrum because we don't want kids is so funny because they'll always say things like i can't exactly say i don't want kids but um let me tell you something the second that it's springtime i have to take several medications to just exist and not pass away because the pollen on the trees okay dust is my worst enemy i was really weird as a kid i had braces twice Whenever I t uh, go on an airplane, when we take off, I have to like sing a song under my breath because I'm so scared for some reason <laughs> of takeoff heights in general and dying on the plane. I'm 5'1". <laughs> like my poor son. The only like benefits my children would get is that they would probably have musical ability, they'd be pretty, and they'd be short. I'm really anxious. So I'm not, ex I'm not like sure exactly how that would project humanity forward, you know? men raging and throwing a tantrum because we don't want kids is so funny because they'll always say things like i'm gonna elaborate on this video a little bit because she nailed it why would women want children when they have to take care of a man there is a large number of men i would even say a majority of men who don't even know how to properly wash their own fucking underwear go ahead work the washer i dare you i mean y'all don't even know how to do dishes right and if you don't want to be perceived as stupid or incompetent, don't utilize weaponized incompetence. Y'all play stupid and then get mad when people treat you like you're stupid. Also, like, on top of all that, nobody needs a whiny crybaby piece of shit stomping around the house because he's not getting what he wants. Like, no woman wants to take care of two toddlers at one time. Men need to get the fuck over themselves and do some fucking work. Because filling the bank accounts, it, it, that's not your only job. And you barely do that try getting better i don't know men raging and throwing a tantrum because we don't want kids is so funny because they'll always say things like i think men should have like 500 hours of babysitting and watching a child before they even consider having a kid because i feel like most men who are like i want a kid i want a kid have never even babysat alone for a whole day or for a whole weekend because 
Kids are fantastic, but kids are also a lot of work. Also, I would encourage any woman on this planet who wants to become a mother and all that stuff, do your research, please. Don't <laughs> don't expect your doctors, your nurses, your pr your physicians or whatever to tell you the truth. Uh, do your research. Uh, do your research in the beginning stages. What happens? Why are you experiencing what you're experiencing? How your body changes? The fluids that come out. Um, the after effect. The uh, how long it takes? Almost two, three years for you to come back to normal. Uh, do your research. Uh, see if you're even willing to go through that. Um, cause the thing with pregnancy is like you have zero. Once you're pregnant, you have zero control of what happens. Zero. Anyways, um, but yeah, anytime a man is like, so when are you going to have kids? I'm like, are you going to be there? Are you going to be their nanny? Are you going to take care of them? Because one thing about me, ain't nobody's going to pressure me to do anything on this planet that I don't want to fucking do. Like the fuck? Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Um, the whole hospital situation, birthing is crazy. People just put hands inside of you without even asking. Advocate for yourself. Uh, this is if you decide to go through that. You need to learn how to advocate for yourself. If you bring somebody along to be with you, make sure they know how to advocate for you. Make sure they know what to, questions to ask to make sure. Uh, you don't have to have all the people in your room if you don't want to. You can say, nope, I don't know you. Why are you in here? You can say no. You have so many rights. They just don't tell you about it. All that to say, uh, pregnancy is for the birds. <laughs> Birthing is for mother. It's it's for the worms. Okay, it's it's not for. Listen, you have to be a strong <laughs> human to want to do that over and over again. So don't ever let any man impregnate you if that's not what you want to do. Don't ever. Don't do it. Because also, think about this. You know how you can pick up your key, jump into your car, and just go whenever you want? When you birth a child, you literally have to mentally think, oh, I have to go to the store. Oh, I have to bring this kid with me. Oh, where would I put them? Do I bring in the stroller or do I carry them in my arms? And if I do that, do I put the, do I push the cart or do, what do I do? Do I put them in the cart? Because you also got to be careful about that because like diseases are spreading and they're like little and like immune system ain't all that. You, these are things that people don't tell you. Night outs, you, you have to plan those. Uh, trips, you have to be like, do I leave this kid with somebody or do I bring them with me? Do I, like, do, do, what do I do? <laughs> I wouldn't say your life is over, but your life is over if you don't have a great partner. That's what I'm going to say. If y'all got a question, ask away. Not that I know anything. I'm just spitting. I have done some research. Mm. 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 If you're still here, kindly put your thoughts and your comments and your opinion and your suggestion down in the comment section. Yes, of course, I feel like women do not want children because of men. Most women do not want children because of the way men treat them. Most children do not want children because they already have a child at home, which is their man. They are already taking care of you as they already have a, ch a man child at home. So why should they have another child? to the equation you will see even you will see people saying that oh you have you have it you know you already have like let's assume you have like two children at home you've given birth to like two kids you see them you see them saying that you know you have three children and you wonder three children i only have two say your husband is number is the number one child so everybody assume that you having a man is already a child so you already have a child taking they are taking care of the man that cannot do anything the man that cannot you know most men are, see 
weaponize incompetence. They can't do, they, they act like they can't do anything. They just sit down and not do anything and they expect you to do those things just because you are a woman. You should be able to do or know how to do all these things. But then they are not, they should not be able to do all these things. So they already have you as a child. Why should they want to have other children along with it? And why should a woman want to have a child when you are the one that gets all the praise? You are the one that gets the last name. You're the one that gets, she goes through a hell, but you're the one that gets all your glory. In fact, the children calls your name first. The baby calls Dada first. <laughs> Most baby calls Daddy first. And even if you just spend a day with the child, what am I saying? Two hours with the child and probably the wife or the mother went out probably to hang out or to just go buy something for the family. You want to get praises. You want people to praise you that, oh, wow, you're a good man. You're a good father. You stood for, by the child. Oh. In fact, when the woman goes out and she and they ask her, where is your child? Where are your children? Like, oh, they are home with the father. They be like, oh, wow, your husband is a good man. I is a good father. You want to get all your praises just for taking care of the child for two hours. But when a woman sits down 24 hours to take care of a child, she's not doing anything. She's jobless. She's not doing anything. What she does is nothing. It she does, it she does just to sit down at home and do nothing. You, she, just, she doesn't get praises for it. It's just like a normal work. But when it's time for you to do the same thing for just less hours, you want to get all your praises. And I agree with one of the creators that says, is that men should at least try to spend like she said 500 hours or something with a child or with their child they don't let them say with their child and see if they want to have another one hell no most of them cannot spend time with the child most of them run away from the ho from the house because they have children you will see men that have a lot of children at home three four children even a child at home they always have excuse to run away from the house just because the child they don't want to have they don't want to even hear a child cry you will see men say they don't want they don't like hearing a child cry they don't want a child to stay in but they are the ones that are always quick to say i want to have a baby i want to have a family i want my legacy to continue why would woman see you act like that when she has a child for you and wants to have another child for you why would other another woman see you treat another woman like that that went through hell to have a child for you and at the same time you are treating her like that and you expect her to want to have a child for another man when she already see how men treat other women that have children for them so you i feel like men claim that they want to have a child or they need a child or they want their legacy to continue or they want upstream but they are not ready to take care of this child most of them run away from the house if there is a child most of them run away from their wives if the moment she's pregnant most of them are not even man enough to stay with a child for in fact 24 hours is so much you see them a woman that cannot travel she cannot go out without thinking of the child why sh why should it be so because she's not the only one that has a child when a woman has a child she's the only one that has to be the ones to be responsible for the child the men is just like they're just there but you are the ones that are quick to come and attack women that say they don't want to have children you shouldn't be attacking them because at the end of the day women are the ones that take all the full responsibility when it comes to children so i don't so sometimes when i see men complaining that hey, i don't want to have a child da, 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 you are not i feel like they are just being jealous and they don't want you to live the kind of life that they are living which is be free to do whatever you want to do you know and i saw a video someone was like one of the reasons why i will not have a child is because I, will, I won't be the dad <laughs> if she can have opportunity to be the dad she would ha she'll be she'll have a child and that's it being a dad is more fun than being a mom being a mom you're going you're first going to go in through, through hell with your pregnancy 50 50. you either come out of it alive or you come out of it dead and you don't even know the kind of child that is in your tummy so until the child comes out before you can okay this is what i'm going to deal with for the rest of my life okay let's assume you, you gave it to a healthy baby thank god and you have to deal with that to do with best freedom you do it every all this while these men all they do is tell you that they are going out to look for money da, 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 da. that doesn't mean that you as a woman say if you are not even looking for money even while you are just put to bed or that you are doing your own thing so i feel like being a dad being a father is 
way 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 easier than being a mom that is why these men are quick to always attack women that say they do not want children let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking out to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kind of on post notification bits and get notified once i upload another interesting video like this one and of course you all i'll see you in my next video bye